Making boilies and testing them out. Welcome to carpfishing.tips where we try to find idiot proof ways to catch fish, specifically carp. This week we tried making our own boilies again um, with our patent pending ingredients. The ingredients and recipe are as follows. You need two cups of cake flour, one cup of corn flour, one sachet of citric acid, one sachet of bicarbonate of soda, and mix all of that together. We then split the mixture into three parts so we could make three different flavored boilies. We use one tablespoon of each essence in the mixtures. So for example, we used one teaspoon of strawberry and one teaspoon of lemon. Uh, in each uh, dough, we used uh, caramel and banana as a combination, pineapple and vanilla in another combination, and strawberry and lemon in another combination. We used one egg per mixture, so three eggs in total, and we mixed everything together. We started with the dry ingredients first, and then with the wet, till the dough isn't sticking to everything. We tried rolling out the dough and cutting it into different shapes and sizes to see if that does anything to attract the fish. And we boiled them for 3 minutes and let them air dry on an old beach towel for around 48 hours. We then put them in some plastic ziplocs and left them in the fridge. The boilies will start to mold so you need to freeze them if you aren't going to use them within a week or so. With the boilies in hand we made our way to fun fishing. Even though the fishing forecast wasn't great and it was cold. Um, we tried a multiple multiple approach as usual. We had the standard banana floats and garlic backing with banlick bowl dip. Um, we also tried the boilies with almond extreme and annie seed as well as banana and chocolate as we've been finding that the fish are responding to sweet bowl dips only we tried both only sweet and only strong smells to see if we got any different responses unfortunately all we got for our efforts was a small bite we did see other people at the fishing spots further down from us to the right of where we were and they all caught one fish before we left and it was around the same time that we got our small bite. We also found that the boilies didn't float as they normally do with this recipe. They should have been more buoyant. buoyant. That's the point of the citric acid and the bicarb. We think it had something to do with either the shapes we made or because we rolled out the dough. When we did boil the bo boilies, we did notice that the round ones um, were floating, whereas the flatter ones or the ones that weren't rolled didn't seem to float which, which is quite interesting to us and unfortunately that means we blanked this week so until next time stay safe and tight lines guys <laughs>